Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. And today I will be making once again another updated video on the Iceline hosting 5M server or FX server game panel. Uh, before we get into it, if you haven't already guys, hit that like button and make sure you subscribe with notifications. And also if you like this video, go ahead down below and drop a like. And any links that you need will be posted in the description of this video. So moving right along here. Um, I'm making this other updated video because it's been three years since my last one and Iceland has made a lot of great changes to their game panel and how seamlessly it is to host your own 5M server. Um, and it starts as low as £3.20, which for the Americans is about $3.50 to $4. Uh, moving right along though, the first link you are going to need is the Iceland hosting. Uh, link which is iceline-hosting.com also it will be the first link down in the description below when you get here you are going to see their home page and all you have to do is hover over the create your own server button and if you don't see 5m on here don't worry just click the view all games then you're going to scroll down to the 5m one here once you're on this page here you can scroll down and you're going to be able to see a few of your options here um, for the demo purposes, I will be showing you guys on an FX server dash one. Uh, this just comes with the lowest uh, specs that you would need to run a 5M server. However, if you are looking for uh, a few beefier options, they do go up to FX server dash four. Uh, but if you even need more power, you can also configure your own plan. So moving on to the purchasing of your server, you're going to see a drop down here of locations. Um, this location would be best to figure out uh, what a median location for your players would be. For me, I'm going to just go with Virginia because that is the closest to me and my imaginary player base would probably be people on the East Coast. With that, you just go ahead and click get started and then you are going to be brought to the billing page. I am already logged in. If you are not, you may be prompted to log in. Uh, you can also enter a promo code here uh, if you use promo code Jordan2139, you will get some savings on your first month. You get 15% off, and it helps me out as well. Um, so you're going to see here, we can once again just quickly validate all of our options we have here. Location is Virginia. We're going to get one CPU core, one gigabyte of RAM, and we're going to get 10 gigabytes of storage, but we do not have any cloud backups currently. Um, it is going to be... 336 monthly, but your first month will only be 286 with my discount code. Moving on, once you hit checkout, you will then be prompted to enter all of your information. Um, once you have uh, either uh, created your account, or if you already have one, select your account you'd like to use, and then you will be, uh, if you have any account credits, you'll be able to apply those, or you can just click do not apply, and you can choose your method of payment here. You can use PayPal or credit or debit card, whichever one works for you. You're going to go down here, click I have read and agreed to the terms and conditions, and you're going to complete your order. Once you have your order completed, you are going to want to navigate to game.iceline.host, also be down in the description. Uh, when you first log in here, you'll be met with your servers. Here, you can see that I have my test 5M server here. It's not started. It's not set up. I'm going to click on it. You'll be able to see just a little bit of information here. Uh, when your server started up, you'll be able to see all your players, uh, your player account, and a few specs on your server. So to start out, we are going to need to get the basics, which is a server license key. This comes directly from CFX, and it's what allows your server to actually be on the CFX platform. So if you go to the top scroll bar here, grab it, and then drag it over to settings, uh, we are going to first have to choose our game, which is already selected as 5M. It may say Minecraft, but these are your options. Uh, 5M is the one that is X'd out here. You can't select it. That's because that's what we're currently on. Do not worry if it says Minecraft or any other game. Here, we are going to be able to name our server. Um, we can also update our server if we'd like to rerun the installation. This is if there's new server artifacts that you'd like. Or if you are trying to move over to Iceland Hosting, you can also use the great import button they have here to bring all your data over. Here, you're also going to see the SFTP details that we have here. 
This is how you're going to connect via WinSCP or uh, WinRAR, sorry, not WinRAR, FileZilla. And this will allow you to directly access the files on your server. If we navigate over to the startup here, we are going to get to see uh, all of our 5M direct settings. So here, if we give it, go ahead and scroll down, we're going to see the server host name. This is what the server is actually going to show up as on the 5M server browser. The project name and project descriptions are the smaller items that show underneath the actual name. Our max players is how many players we want to allow to connect to our server. I'm just going to leave that at two, but you can set that to whatever you'd like. Our 5M license key here, mine is already in, but to obtain yours, you're going to go on a new tab to keymaster.5m.net. If you've never been to this site before, you may have to either create a CFX account or log in. I'm going to click sign in, and then it's automatically logged me in here. Now, you can see that I have a few servers already created. I'm actually at three of three. If you were not at three of three, you would go to new server. Once you're at the new server screen, we're going to navigate back over to our game panel real quick. Click on the 5M license key info, and then we're gonna see some information here. For our label, we're going to simply copy over our label into the display name. Our server IP address, we're going to copy, paste that in there. And then for our server type, we are going to pick other. And then we are going to enter the provider that was provided. Please note that you should never enter Iceland as your provider or your server may not work and you will probably have to open up a support ticket to get that resolved. Pasting that in, complete the CAPTCHA, then click generate. You should be redirected to the servers tab. In here, you're going to see your newly created server. I'm just going to click on my QB core one here, and here is the details. So you can click copy to copy your key. Um, last IP probably won't show for you if you do not already have an IP that the server started on before. Now you're going to go back over to the panel, go ahead and you'd paste in your 5M license key. Your Steam Web API key will be important if you'd like to use Steam for various methods of verification of your players. So you can go to the link here, log in, and follow the setup process there. Your 5M version is going to be your artifacts version. This is the version of the game server that it runs on. This is not your game build version. To find your artifacts version that you would like, all you have to do is just copy this link here into your browser into a new tab, and we're going to look for the latest recommended, which is 7290. I'm going to come back here and I'm going to type in 7290 since that's the latest recommended version. You're going to see this blue line at the top of my screen go by. That means that it's auto saving. Now, when it comes to game builds, as of recording this video in April 13th of 2024, the latest game build is 3095. You can find these game builds on the 5M forums. Um, it, it's just the different DLCs of GTA Online. When it comes down to one sync, um, there are a few different ones you can do here. You can just turn it off if you do not want to run one, uh, one sync. If you'd like to run legacy one sync, you would type legacy in here or you would type on to run the new version of OneSync. Uh, the version that you run is entirely up to you. I recommend that you do your own research on the 5M forums as to the differences between them. Now, moving over to OneSync Infinity, you are either going to type zero or one. Once again, this is just going to be something that is specific to your server. Uh, you, I recommend that you do your own research here and see what fits your server best. If you're a higher player count server, you may want to have this on, but for lower player counts where people are going to be all together, I would recommend that you probably keep this off. And for the beyond option here, this just enables NPCs for one sync infinity. Since I'm not turning that on, I'm also not going to enable beyond. Moving over to the enable TX admin box, I 100% recommend that you enable this. Always keep this on. TX admin is a great resource when trying to develop your 5M server run your 5M server, and moderate your 5M server. Now that we have our startup all set, we can move on to the modding of the server. So, um, Iceland Hosting does uh, have a great installer when it does come to their servers. 
Uh, their mods panel is great. It will automatically install anything that you want from the popular 5M server um, modifications that people do. So if you go through here, uh, we have a power development pack. It's an Iceline partnership with power development where you're going to get their entire server pack, which is QB Core, but it does come with over 200 scripts and 22 pre-configured jobs and 40 vehicles. If you're looking to start up a QB Core server, I'd recommend that you go with this power pack versus the standard QB Core setup because it's just going to have a little bit more for you. Um, Scrolling down more, you're going to see the different game versions, uh, whether you want VRP, ESX, QB Core, or vMenu. It's entirely up to you. Then you're going to see a few more tools that would be very helpful, such as Hyper Admin, Easy Admin, or Toko VoIP. Now, if we go over to the files here, there are two ways that you're going to edit your files in this server. One is through the uh, UI on the website, where you're going to be able to go in, see all of your files that you have here, these all come pre-installed using this mods panel that we just talked about. So as you can kind of see here, I basically have a full 5M server set up for me, which is very nice, very easy. I paid $3.86 and I'm ready to start my 5M server. Now, if you would like to access your files via WinSCP or FileZilla, like I had mentioned earlier, that's where we're gonna go over to settings here and we're going to go over to our SFTP. And what we wanna do is we want to just copy in the host here. I'm going to open this up in WinSCP. All right, now that I have WinSCP open, I'm going to click on new site and I'm going to make sure that my file protocol is SFTP. In the host name, I'm simply gonna press enter, making sure that it pasted in the entire host name that Iceland has given me. Going back over, we're going to note that our port is 2022, not just 22, so we want to make that adjustment. Moving on to the username, that is the one that is provided by us, or for us, rather. And then our password is our account password that we chose when signing up for our account. Okay, now I have my password in. You do get the option to save this if you'd like. Uh, you can rename this to a friendly name if you'd like, and it'll show up on the left side here when they're blurred out. Um, while it does say that safe password isn't recommended, if this is your personal computer and nobody else has access to it, you can of course just go ahead and click on save password. Um, I, I always do, however, if it's a shared computer, that's something you definitely don't want to do. Now you're just going to click OK. And now that it's saved over here on the left side, we can just click on it and then we're going to click log in. Click yes for the first time. And then if prompted for your password again, type it in if you didn't click that save password option. Now, you're going to see on here, we're looking at basically what we just saw in the web UI. However, this is going to allow us to open the files on our local computer rather than using the online editor. It makes it just a little bit easier if you have folders on your computer that you'd like to drag over rather than a zip file. Once you've made all the proper modifications to your files that you'd like, we are ready to start our server essentially. Um, we can head over to the console here and just click the start button. All right, and after a little bit, you kind of saw the stuff print here in the console. My server is online and we're ready to connect. So just go ahead and copy that address button there. And we're going to launch up some 5M here and uh, try and connect to our server. So let's see how that. All right, and now that we're in 5M, we can go ahead and join the server by pressing F8, typing connect, and then pasting in that URL we were given. So you'll see here it's loading my server. You see the QB Core image because we selected the QB Core default and we got the QB Core loading screen, which is a good sign. Usually means that all of the QB Core mods are loaded up here. So you'll see in the bottom right that we are loading the game up pretty quickly, which is very nice. So should have some pretty quick loading times with these Iceland servers, which is always nice when you're trying to join. Um, and we're already in, guys. So. Here we're retrieving our characters, validating them, and we are ready to make our first character on QB Core. It's that simple to set up your server with Iceline Hosting. Uh, like I said, all the links used in the video will be down in the description below. Use code JORDAN2139 at checkout to save some money. And check back for more how-to videos with Iceline. Should have a few more coming out here. And if you guys want to see more, just leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.